Hey everybody, welcome back to Clutch Situation. Uh, I was recently hanging out with a longtime visitor of the channel and friend, Matt. Uh, and he had brought along with him a small bag of writing utensils that he thought might be a fun thing for us to check out on Clutch Situation. And uh, Matt was a longtime patron of mine. Uh, he is a former student who graduated eons ago. Uh, and uh, he has always been a huge lover and supporter of the channel. And so let's go ahead and uh, open up this little zipper bag and see what we have in here. This is one that I'm especially excited about. This is uh, one of the spoke pens. Okay. And that's going to be exciting to write with and to showcase because you all know on the channel that I love spoke products. Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, Matt got into spoke products as a result of watching the channel. And Matt is more of a pen guy than he is a pencil guy. In fact, I wouldn't even argue that he's a pencil guy. I would just say that it's mostly uh, pens. But that doesn't mean that there isn't also a fascinating... Um, opportunity for us to explore pens on the channel. And so that's what we're going to do. We have a turquoise retro 51 tornado pen. Okay. That'll be interesting to write with. We have, this is air press and it says on it, eyesight's getting worse. This is a Tombow air press and this is an interesting little see-through mechanism here. Shows you how all the little internals work as you're knocking the pen. Look at it from a couple of different angles. You can see that red part is what uh, uh, limits the extent to which the knock can move up. And then when you click, there's this little uh, mechanism in here that prevents the pen from going back. So that's pretty cool, Tombow pen. We have Zebra Sarasa. Matt is a big fan of the Sarasa line. Sarasa is, I believe, comes in gel or it might be an emulsion. I'd have to check that out. Um, we have Rote Ring 600 with a little gold ring around the top right here and then the classic red ring around it. Um, this little portion here moves but it doesn't really do anything. You have to knock it just like you would a pen. And so we have the um, knurling there, which we all love. And then last, but certainly not least, an Oto Horizon pen. And it looks like this is in a gel variety. So I am interested uh, to check this out. I have reviewed the Horizon mechanical pencil uh, in the past. And so it'll be interesting to showcase the pen. And so there we go. That is our array of pens that we will be checking out today. And, uh, you know, a fun little thing here, because I'm sure Matt is watching as I'm going along, Matt can maybe guess <laughs> um, what uh, style of pen cartridges we have in here. I mean, I suppose another option here is that we could always just bust these open and check it out. And so here for the spoke, which the threading on this is lovely, by the way. OK, so in the spoke, he has a rote ring, quest uh, rote ring cartridge. It's a ballpoint pen uh, refill 1.0 in medium. And these particular rote ring um, happen to uh, cartridges happen to be manufactured in France. It is really satisfying to unscrew and rescrew on this element of the spoke pen. Uh, this pen has uh, the original standard, I guess we can call it knurling of the spoke products. Um, it posts really nice. It's also a magnetic post. We have the spoke symbol on the end. Uh, strong but still springy pocket clip, so I really appreciate that. And then if we recap the pen, we have a magnetic connection, okay? So whether you are posting on the end like this, this is also, um, I, I'm a big believer in tiny pens, okay? 
it, you know, pens aren't really my jam unless they're small. And so if you remember my Fisher Space Pen that I got, when it posts, it's about a similar size to this uh, spoke pen. Uh, mine has the uh, rubberized uh, knurling here, and I have a Fisher Space Pen cartridge in here. No magnetism here, but um, the features of this spoke pen definitely interest me in a spoke pen for the future. And so let's do a little bit of uh, writing with it. So I should have looked up what model of spoke pen this is before I started the video, but you know what? I guess it'll just add to the realism. And so this is a spoke pen with a rote ring ballpoint 1.0 millimeter uh, cartridge, I believe. Well, yeah, we know it's in black, okay? So this is ballpoint, so long lasting. Remember, for those of you in the audience who are not um, uh, familiar with pens as much, generally, ballpoint is going to last longer than an emulsion of ink, which is a combination of gel and ballpoint ink and then gel is going to last for the least amount of time now if we talk about skipping ballpoints are going to be the most likely to skip and gel pens are going to be the least likely to skip and so a lot of people myself included prefer emulsions just because it's kind of the best of all worlds but uh, ballpoint will last you a very, very long time, but threatens skipping in the ink. Gel pens will look wonderful when you write with them, but they are the least likely to skip. I definitely enjoyed writing with this spoke pen, and so that's awesome. Let's go to the Tornado. Okay, I have several Tornadoes myself, um, one of them as a pen and several of them as pencils. And it's been a while since I had... Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. This is not a rote ring. <laughs> this is a uh, Retro 51 Tornado pen. And, you know, I mean, is this a gel or is this a ballpoint? My gut tells me that it's gel. Okay, so let's, let's take this thing apart and see if I was right here. So, um... Retro 1951 refill. My eyesight is terrible. Let me get it under a light here. Not, wait, wait, wait. No, that just says made in Germany. Okay. But I'm not getting an indication as to whether this is a gel or a ballpoint. Um... I think that if it was the original that came with the pen, it is probably a ballpoint. So if you were in the audience and you know um, what's going on here, let us know in the comments whether you think that this is most likely gel or a ballpoint. I mean, maybe it's an emulsion. It seems to write, you know, in between for me, but I could be wrong with that. Um, Retro 51 Tornadoes are modern classics, and we love them for a reason. And so it's always nice to write with a pen for that. Let's check out this Tombow. This is the Tombow Air Press. This is definitely a ballpoint. Basically, the scratchier you feel, the more likely it is uh, to be a ballpoint. This would definitely be a conversation starter. Um, yeah, I like it. Um, it has an interesting grip pattern here on the end that's better than a smooth bore. Um, very springy pocket clip, but it also snaps back very strongly. I think that it's actually probably spring-loaded here. It also has a little loop here if you want to attach it to a lanyard, so that's very useful. And so cool uh, ergonomic slash um, futuristic design 
to the Tombow Air Press, and I'm sure it's called Air Press because the action on it is very light. You do not have to press it or uh, depress it very hard in order to get it to extend. So that's something cool to check out there. Here, now this is weighty. This is a metallic Zebra Sarasa. I'm not sure exactly what the model is on it. Um, Sarasa is either going to be an emulsion or a gel. Let's take it apart and see if it specifies on it. It has a really nice, um, it has a really nice uh, threading here. And this looks like a gel cartridge to me. Okay. Um, it says Zebra on it. Um, it's kind of difficult to see the writing on it. I think that there's just some uh, part numbers here, but looks like a gel to me. Could be an emulsion. I can't remember whether Sarasa is marketed as a gel or an emulsion. So um, we have a higher quality metal. Okay, it writes like a gel. It's definitely a gel. Uh, metal Zebra Sarasa. Almost certainly gel based upon smoothness of writing here. It's got a really strong pocket clip. It looks really cool. This would be an example of a pen that I would probably look up. Although, since I don't purchase a lot of pens, I'm much more likely to purchase a Rote Ring 600 pen than I am. Uh, I, I'm more likely to purchase a Spoke or a Rote Ring 600, you know, because these are classics. Um, this is a, a Rote Ring 600 that has been loved. The paint here has been rubbed away indicating that this pen has been used a ton, which I always love, a loved writing instrument. Okay, so this is Rote Ring 600. Pretty sure this is a ballpoint. Okay, I mean, it's, it's everything that you would love from a Rote Ring 600. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So that's definitely one of the top pre preferred for me. And then we have the Oto Horizon, which I did, um, which I did review the mechanical pencil version of this. Um, pocket clip looks like it's a little bent out of shape. Okay. And so that doesn't surprise me in that um, Oto pens and pencils are not known for the greatest manufacturing um standards no offense to them but you know that's just the way it is um and this is a needle point so this is oto horizon pen needle point um we would normally expect a needle point to be a gel pen um let's attempt to take it apart here if i can um and see what we got under the hood i don't often see Wow, yeah, that's a tiny little cartridge. Looks like it's a gel pen cartridge to me. It's not writing like a gel pen cartridge. Um, Oto, in my opinion, does not have the best manufacturing standards. Um, and if you're used to mechanical pencil, you have to get sort of get used to the spring-loaded mechanisms that are common in pens of any variety. Um, and so, is it a gel? I'm not sure. Okay, generally with a needle point, we would consider it maybe to be a gel, but I, I'm sure. It, I mean, it writes like a ballpoint. So, you know, I'm sure you can make a tiny little roller ball at the end of this. Okay. But, um, yeah, I definitely like the hexagonal nature, or maybe it's an octagon. Let's look. Uh, up here would probably be better. Yep, it's hexagonal. Um, so yeah, I mean, out of everything, I mean, the spoke is probably amongst the coolest along with the Tombow air press. I love Rote Ring 600 in pen variety. I can do without the Sarasa and the Oto. I think that the Sarasa feels very tank-like for a very basic zebra pen. So, you know, check that out. And then, you know, you can't go wrong with the Tornado. 
Um, yeah, so there's a little overview of some pens that were lent to be my to me by Matt for purposes of a bit video. Matt, thank you so much for uh, sharing these pens with us in the audience and with me. And uh, I'll get these back to you next time that I see you, which I hope will be soon. Um, I'll let you know um, when I'm going to be available sometime in June. And I'll get these back to you. Um, love this deep purple of the spoke. I might also choose to get the spoke. Um, you know, I prefer evergreen as green goes. And so who knows what color I might prefer for a spoke pen. But um, definitely enjoyed this. And I hope those of you in the audience enjoyed it too. And thanks for watching Clutch Situation. I'll have more coming at you soon. Bye-bye.